I'm Brian Velde. We're located in southwestern Minnesota, outside the town of Hanley Falls in Wood Lake. I've farmed for the last 17 years. We farm 1,000 acres and typically rotated half corn and half soybeans. In this particular area, there really isn't a lot of irrigation. The soils vary quite a bit in Minnesota. All within 100 yards, you can go from sugar sand, you really don't get a crop because it dries up, to very highly productive soils where you expect 240, 250 bushel corn. Everybody knows that irrigation on sandy soil makes sense, but we're curious to see what irrigation on high producing soils is, and that's kind of what brought on this project. You could probably go to almost any farmer and ask them if they have higher performing or lower performing areas in their fields, and they're probably going to say yes. More times than not, it's due to the way that that soil holds or releases moisture. When I first got the call from Ryan, I was intrigued because we don't have a lot of drip in this area. And we started talking about the ability to, to fertigate and irrigate. We proposed a grant to the Minnesota corn growers. They were excited to collaborate with us. It was definitely a group effort in order to get this project off the ground. And Minnesota corn growers and the University of Minnesota were definitely instrumental in it as well. Ryan is using a DripNet PC pressure compensating dripper. He's able to apply the same amount of water and nutrients all the way across the field. So if it's calling for seven pounds of nitrogen that day, you can flip the switch and give it seven pounds of nitrogen. As we're harvesting the field right now, what I've noticed is it's more consistent. The sandy ground that typically produces nothing is just as good as the good ground right now. The drip irrigation was you know, two to two and a half feet taller than the unirrigated. And you look at the ears on the drip versus the ears on the unirrigated, it was a substantial difference. According to the yield monitor, on a year like this, you know, it'd probably be 100 bushel corn, and as you combine through those areas, it's showing 240 right now, more than doubling your yield off of those acres. You know, that kind of confirmed the value of the drip irrigation when you can visually see that dramatic of a difference. NetFM prides itself on being able to support its dealers in maximizing the performance of their drip system. They're getting not only the product, but they're getting the company. Their local rep is only a phone call away. So our NetFM dealer has been great. You know, we started our system on July 4th. There isn't a lot of people you can call on the 4th of July, middle of the afternoon, and have them walk you through the startup process on a system. It's farmers that really help sell the product, spreading that news to other growers. I'm very pleased. It's probably one of the best corn raising years we've had. As we go along in the future, it'll be fun to see what more we can do with the soils and how high we can raise that bar for corn production. Instead of 250 bushel corn, raise that bar to 300 bushel corn or 400 bushel corn. So, you know, that's kind of the goal for the future. <laughs> we'll get there.